Thank you for joining me today. I thought it'd be fun if we take a good look at San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Rust in Peace Terracon Cliff Jumper. We already have him out of the packaging, so let's just bring him up closely for a good look. I love that head sculpt that we have for him because that is the head sculpt that we have for when he turned into a Terracon zombie. Um, we had the broken windshield right there. The spots of, I guess, where dark energons coming out. We have that right here on the shoulders. We have here that on the legs, here on the thigh. It's nice having, oh, we have it back here on the back there, here on the forearm. Seems that's about it. It's nice having this figure in hand again. Um, let's see, uh, let's see, articulation. The arms can rotate around. It can spread out. We do have a bicep swivel. We have an elbow joint, and it's kind of like a double hinge, but that's due to transformation. We do have a little bit of a wrist articulation, so that's nice. And what you could do, open up this partially do transformations, wipe this out and close it back up now you have his triple cannons so that is really nice close that up there is no waist articulation um, his legs can part that far there is a thigh swivel we do have a bend at the knee he can get his leg that far back and Cliff Jumper can get his legs that far up. So some decent posability for Cliff Jumper here. It's really nice. To transform Cliff Jumper, we're going to start with one of the most important things. We're going to start with his legs. So we're just going to bring this out. There we go. And now we're just going to take this foot and we're just going to bring it in. And we're going to take this part of a windshield and we're just going to bring that out. And now here at the thigh, we're just going to bring this part out. So it's going to be sticking out just like so. So you can see here in the back, that's what you just want it to be. So we want to split there at the legs, bring in the foot, bring out that and we're just going to come to the back here so we have a better visual so what we're doing we're bending and bending it just like that get that out of the way the arms um, we want to make sure that the wrists or the hands are facing in that way there we go um, we just want to bring the wheels just like that because now we're going to flip those over there we go get these arms kind of straightened out just like that come here and we're just going to bring those out and right by here the head we're just going to bring out that hood so now we have this all free and now we just want to kind of line everything up there we go now we want to bring this part down so now it's flushed and now we want to bring these little pieces out there we go and I guess this is the only time that we actually have a waist swivel we want to push that in we want to bring the head back there we go okay and now we want to bring the legs over just like this okay come here we want to make sure that it is all sticking through the side there so all through the side there we go come to the arms we want to make sure that we're going to snap them together no. There we go. Now we want to make those fit underneath 
the roof. There we go. Now, with the arms, we want to bring these. Now, this is going to snake right in between that plastic there. So now, we're just going to line that in. Get it on this side as well. There we go. Grab this together. Push that back. And now we have Terracon Cliff Jumper fully transformed into his vehicle mode. It's nice having this figure back in hand. It's just a um, nostalgia for me. I just, I just wish Hasbro stuck with more of the Transformers Prime like this than what they're currently bringing out for us. It's not really a Transformers Prime feel. Um, I've been getting that vibe for the newest figures, um, but they need to go back to this. They need to go back to what made Transformer Prime's figures awesome, and that was for the first edition. And re reissue those back out. That, those were fun. Two transformed Cliff Jumper back. We're going to come to the back of the car. We're going to raise this up. There we go. I want to come here to the back. I want to slide these out. Like I said, come to the side here. So bring that out. Come here to the roof. And we're going to bring that out just like so. And snap those apart. And now we have the arms out of the way. So now we want to bring out the legs. And now we want to bring these out forward. So bring out those legs. And we're going to turn. Actually, no, we want to bring out that. Then turn and kind of angle. There we go. And now since the windshield kind of separates, we kind of want to get that little plastic in between. So we have that. And we're just going to bring this. Well, first we need to do is take these little pieces and slide those over and push that up so we can get these under there. But before all that, we want to make sure that we're getting Clip Jumper's head out. Once we have the head up, we have a tab and we have a hole, so we just want to line that up. There we go. Those windshields will come out. That will go just like so. Awesome. Then we come over in here and we just want to take at the legs. Then we want to bring out the feet. Bring that in and we just want to bend close that in so bend that bring out the foot and close oops, close that up as well close up there okay almost there close up on that turn and straighten out the arms and the wrists and close this Close that up, straighten out, and the wrists. And now we have Terracon Cliff Jumper fully transformed back into his Terracon form. My final thoughts. My final thoughts is I'm delightful that I found Cliff Jumper again. And um, like I said, I have a spot on my shelf for him because I have a Cliff Jumper shelf. So I am very delightful that I found him again. I think that would be kind of fun if that was the next line in Legacy, if they did some sort of zombie, um, I don't know, situation. That would be kind of fun. Kind of like what they did with the Junkions, but just make them zombies. Well, with that said, I just want to thank you all for watching. If you can just do me a favor and hit the like and subscribe button down below, let me know in the comments if you think he's shelf worthy. And until next time, you'll be hearing me in the next video. Everybody have a great day.